Hi, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And I have been um, away for a while because I contracted COVID. And um, it's been a journey, but I feel good this morning. So I decided I would um, post a video and uh, I appreciate all your support and your prayers and uh, COVID is rough I can tell you that and uh, but I'm grateful for modern medicine and what they can do so with no further ado we are going to draw this morning so today I haven't filmed since uh, February 4th and today's the 25th and I have chosen a tangle that's a tangulation of um, Muka and it's called Novu by Jessica Dykins. And uh, when I saw this, I thought, look, anything that is Muka related, I would love. Muka is one of my go to tangles. And so you see that I've done it in my Tangle a Day book. And um, I also did it on a bookmark, and I'm going to demonstrate it on a bookmark because um, I find it a little easier to understand if we do it so that um, on a kind of a linear surface and you can get the feel of it. And uh, there's just lots of variations you can add to this, and I'm going to come in on my bookmark a little bit more and I'm going to start at the top of the bookmark and so we're going to do kind of an upside down muka in um, Maria's fashion. This is not what I usually draw, how I usually draw my mukas. I like Rick's idea of muka. And there's only three mukas in this. Oh, not Rick's idea of muka. It's Rick's idea of, hmm, I can't remember what. Well, it'll come to me. But you can see that that was the step. I'm going to go over it again. And, um, so, and you can turn it around like this and so that they connect so I'm going to draw coming down touch and then come back up so then my next one comes off the side and then one more kind of has a gentle curve so you can see how and I want them to come down and kind of nestle into each other. And I hope I get a nice curve to them so that I have it. I have a nice um, curve to that uh, design and I just like how it builds on itself and so I could even go this direction so it builds off of that one once you get the hang of how it goes you can pretty much And that one I did a little different. I did a little backwards. Usually I would have come back the other way. It's kind of, I was interrupted a little bit with my husband clumping down the stairs. So let's try it again. Come up. And now I'm going to do another one.
and really you can tell I even switched it up a little bit on that one you you know you just have your freedom to kind of do what you want with but that's no vu and I came back in and added some orbs of course if you know me you know I'm gonna add orbs and I think it needs um, depth so you, you need to add some drama to it in other words so we need to have some darker areas so you could come in and just fill in behind those orbs to give it some darker areas now this is where you can really just add your own um, twist to it and if you go to uh, tanglepatterns.com you can um, get the step outs uh, Novu N-O-V-U by Jessica Dykers and it is a wonderful little tangle and you can see that I colored mine in with a with a little red because I just thought it was since the end of February I would continue with a red theme so I'm just going to add a little red in here with my Prisma pencil which I now have available on my in my store um, the red uh, Prisma pencils if you want to add some red to your repertoire but any any color pencil will work to do this shading and I'm going to um, take my odorless paint thinner and I have it in a little pot with a sponge that's so that I don't spill it when I travel with it and now I'm just going to blend And you can blend in your Tangle a Day calendar. Here's the Tangle a Day calendar, and I added it. And it does not bleed through. The paper's thick enough that you can add that odorless paint thinner and blend, and it doesn't go through your your um, paper. And I wouldn't. I need to add some gray to here. So I'm going to add. This will also add drama. So I'm just taking my pencil and just adding some on the outside and maybe a little on the inside of my um, piece. You know, it's just wherever you feel, you know, the urge. That's the wonderful thing about Zentangle. There's no um, right or wrong place to, to shade. I just think it really... You just need that depth. And so I put down that little graphite and then blend it out. And there we have it. It could have it could have more. I can go in and add some more. I could add just some, you know, little dots, just to to give it a little bit more, which I probably will. I'll probably add a little bit more dark. I like how this one has um, the little balls filled in. I also like how this one has a little striping in it, and so you can just you know play with it and have a great time Novu by Jessica Dykins and thanks again for watching and um, this is short I know but what can we say when you're first getting back you kind of have short videos so thanks again and have a great day